We 21st century people seem to have a bottomless hunger for entertainment. We just want to be entertained and taken on uh, an exciting journey and we want to be fed uh, exciting, stimulating things seemingly at all times. We are so heavily stimulated that it's even hard to imagine just sitting down and, you know, listening to the birds and some kind of very simple thing. It, it, it can almost seem painful when we're expecting, you know, high speed, uh, highly edited video and professionally produced sound and we're being fed excitement at all times. We have even this kind of evolutionary system of entertainment where there's so many, there's thousands and thousands of content producers. They're all producing entertainment for us and the ones that are most successful rise to the top and they're selected by the algorithms and rise to the top of our feeds and then we, so we see like, and you see with each new platform coming out, it's even more condensed in its stimulation. You see like TikTok where you have these little short clips, uh, highly produced and everything is, is coming at you at high speed and the best rise to the top, the most exciting. And so we're so plugged in to these, to these sources of entertainment that how can we even enjoy life without them? How can we enjoy just like, you know, sitting in the park or whatever, going for a walk, these kind of simple things. Now, maybe this is an extreme picture. I mean, I'm sure many of you still enjoy going for a walk. Uh, it hasn't been completely lost. Although I bet many of you will be listening to a podcast while going for a walk, which is also nice. But it's, it's just so hard to, to be entertained now. We just need to have more and more coming in. So I like to imagine what would it be like if we didn't have so much stimulation coming in? What if we allowed ourselves to be a little bit bored, at least bored in the sense of understimulated. The, the idea that we don't need to be excited at all times. We can actually have some kind of a calm and uneventful moment. I mean, well, even saying that it sounds so boring. Have an uneventful hour an uneventful day it sounds almost unbearable. I'm sure after a few minutes, certainly a few hours, I'll be looking for some kind of distraction, something to provide interest. And there seems to be something wrong with that because and it's not against the entertainment itself because that is qual there's a lot of quality stuff. I mean, sure, there's filler that is just dumb stuff that occupies our attention, kind of like that catchy song that gets stuck in your head even though you hate it. A lot of entertainment's like that. But there is also a lot of quality. And there's a lot of interesting things going on that we can experience and it can be very artfully designed and uh, presented to us. And it, so it's quality. There's a lot of quality there, but we're just so overfed with it that, you know, if you made it a food analogy, it's like we are feeding ourselves on very rich food. We're like dining on like foie gras or whatever. And so we can't, you know, when, when, when we have a day that's just meat and potatoes, it's like, what is... What is this? This is unbearably bland. And so I think that's what we're, we're seeing this kind of dark side of 
being so well entertained is that when you pull the plug on that entertainment, when you, when you don't have it, it or in any, any time of our day that we don't have it, there's just this kind of an empty feeling because we're so used to being filled with it. So I like to imagine what would it be like without that? Is it possible to turn down some of this entertainment, to take a break, to live life in a simple, boring state of mind? And is it possible to have this kind of non-stimulated, non-excited, everyday, simple existence, is it possible to have that without being bored? Do we, can we get there or do we have to just go further and further into better entertainment? Be curious to hear what you think.